Early this morning, about four o'clock, I hear people was around, were around my gate. I made some calls. I tried to reach the governor um, because he had told me that if I saw any strange movements, I should alert him since he issued the statement. So I tried to reach him. The phones were off. And then, so I called some people. They said they might not be real policemen, so I should stay. They said they came to take me away. I said, for what? Do they have a warrant of arrest? They said, no warrant of arrest. So I left it about six o'clock. They broke the gate. And later, Senator Magnus Abbe now called me that he had reached the commissioner of police who said he didn't know anything about it. So the CP called me, I sent him my address, he came. They told me the CP was downstairs. The CP wasn't down, but I think he's the deputy commissioner of police. So I opened the door, they wanted to grab me. I now pushed back the door and locked it and went upstairs, got through to my governor. They broke, they tried to break the back door. It's a security door, so they kept hitting it for over one hour and they couldn't get access. So my governor came, asked them for the warrant of arrest. And why couldn't they invite me to the police that I would have come instead of going to take a woman like a criminal? So the governor took me in his car. I'm here. I'm refugeeing the government now, that's all. I was supposed to be going today to Abuja to make my submission between, before the House of um, Representatives, the committee. I'm sure it's about that. Meanwhile, the, the, the man that harassed me is at home. The man who stole the money is at home. The man who stole government files is at home. The man who took money is at home. The man who said I should go and take an oath is at home.